Q&A day. We do it every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning on the FBTV video podcast, which we live stream every Saturday morning starting at 9 a.m. And the topic of the day, or the featured topic, is always Q&A on Saturday morning. Today's uh, question comes from Deborah. She says she is in the process of starting her own freight brokerage business. Uh, she has, uh, well, we, we have our business license bond, but we still need insurance, and I'm having some trouble with my carrier contracts and customer contracts. I have worked in the industry for a year and got into it because I have a lot of friends who are also salesmen at different shippers. I feel confident in myself moving loads and doing the day-to-day, but I would appreciate any advice or information you could give me about contracts. Well, all right. Carrier contracts, those are generally referred to as carrier agreements. Uh, It's also referred to to as a continuing contract. Why is it called a continuing contract? It's simply because every time that carrier moves a load for you, they're going to get a shipper load confirmation from you. And that load confirmation is going to become part of the continuing contract. Now, where do you find these? Well, go to the Internet. There are hundreds of these type contracts available on the Internet. And where are you going to find them? I'll just tell you right now. Uh, find them on freight broker websites. Any freight brokerage that has a link up there that says, hey, get a set up get set up with this they will have a uh, continuing contract in that package grab a few of them all right pick out what you want in there one thing you definitely want in there is a no back solicitation clause no back solicitation now what that does it prevents a trucky company from going behind your back tomorrow they move a load for you today for shipper xyz And tomorrow, they contact and start hauling for that customer direct. That's what the no-back solicitation clause is all about. It varies length of time, 6 months, 12 months, 18, 24, whatever you want to put in there. Okay. But uh, that's just one example. But what you're doing with that uh, continuing contract or the broker-carrier agreement, setting out the terms and conditions. And there are standard terms and conditions, which you're going to find in pretty much every contract. That's why I'm saying go to the uh, different freight broker websites, pull down all you can to be able to determine what's what. Because you're going to have to make your own. All right. Obviously, you want the uh, trucking company to keep their insurance in force. You want them to be legal. You want them to represent you in a professional way they are a vendor remember that a trucking company is a vendor to you they are providing a service and i know you're going to talk to a lot of trucking companies that feel like they're doing you a favor (laughs) welcome to trucking but really they're a vendor providing a service we're paying them for that service now what is our service our service is providing backhauls that's the bottom line of what a broker is to do i know a lot of brokers are used as a dispatcher that's fine if trucking company wants to use you as a dispatcher to get all their loads that's their prerogative you know but really what we are here for is to provide a way for a trucking company to relocate their empty equipment able to get that truck loaded and relocated to a destination they need that truck to be for whatever reason more times than not to get back to their customer freight okay Anyway, we go over this in training. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm the lead consultant for Taltoa, T-A-L-T-O-A.com. You can check us out at Taltoa.com. If you've got any questions, and Deborah, uh, you may want to call me, 479-668-0838. Be happy to kind of help you with that as well, answer your questions on that too. But as far as Taltoa goes, we are a consulting firm. We do have packages that include in-depth training for our clients how to work as a freight broker day to day everything from getting a customer all the way through delivery of the load including legal and contracts is included in that training plus if you want to start out as an agent which we always recommend to everyone if you want to start out as an agent you are able to do so through us once you have completed your training 
You'll be placed through us under a licensed broker, which is our sister company, Tatua Logistics. That way you're able to begin your broker operation. You're not going to go have to go out here and knock on doors trying to get a company to give you an opportunity. And while you're in the mentorship program, we're overseeing everything you do. Making sure you're crossing the T's, dotting the I's. Provide support, recommendations. Consulting. When you exit the mentorship program to move on your own, be it as a freight broker agent with another company direct or even to start your own brokerage, that's when your consulting period begins. Now these periods, TMP, consulting, uh, depending on the package, it could be three months, six months, or 12 months. All right. If you want to know more about that, go to taltoa.com, T-A-L-T-O-A.com. Now, customer contracts. Let's talk about those. That's uh, contracts between you and your customer that has freight to ship. Yeah, eventually maybe, but starting out, you're going to be working with what is known as a transactional contract. A transactional contract, also known as a shipper load confirmation, provides all the details for the load you've agreed to move for that customer, including the rate they've agreed to pay you. All right. Now, you don't want to go binding off to more than you can chew right off the bat. You know, you don't want to go in, hey, you know, I'm, I'm so-and-so broker. I'd I, I like to handle your freight because you don't know if you're going to be able to get trucks or not yet. This is part of the process, the uh, working your way out of the startup period. Now, ask any of my clients about the startup period, and they'll tell you I, I really <laughs> tell you all about the startup period. Startup period is when you're trying to get the ball rolling, trying to get that wheel turning. It takes time. It's a process. You've got to build the relationships. You've got to build a carrier following. You've got to have the customers. You've got to have the loads because from those loads, you will be able to determine what's going to make you money. And when you get to that point, that's when you are working your way out at the startup period. The confidence. You say, I have, I feel confident in myself moving loads. Okay, that, you know, that's, you've got to be confident. PMA, positive mental attitude. You don't hear that very much anymore. Back, back in the day, the PMA was all the time. Positive mental attitude. Not to the point, I know back in the 80s, you know, they may still do it, but not to the point where you stand in front of the mirror going, I am a great salesman. I am going to make a million dollars this year. Brokering loads, eh, you know, they, they used to encourage that back in the day. It don't make sense to me now. It didn't make sense to me then. Yeah, I tried it a few times, and I felt like an idiot. <laughs> you know, why am I talking to myself in the mirror? You know. Anyway, hey, if it works for you, it works for you, right? All right. Thank you, Deborah, for that question. Kelly, she's got a four word question what is a TMS well Kelly a TMS is short for transportation management system I'm going to give you a brief overview here but we got a video coming up about a TMS maybe even show you a little bit about one so you can see it that'll be coming up on YouTube here maybe in the next few weeks I'll be looking for that TMS Transportation Management System as a freight broker is a fancy name for freight broker software. Now, what we are doing with the TMS as a broker, we are entering our customer information, billing information, their credit limit, the whole nine yards, you know, where to send the invoices, all that. As we get a load from that customer and we get a truck to move that load, we will enter the truck's information into the TMS. It's going to have all the information for that trucking company, Dispatcher name, uh, trucking company, where they're at, MC number, DOT number, their insurance information, the whole nine yards. So that truck wants to haul a load for our customer that's already in the TMS. We will assign that truck to that load, and we will build, we, we call it building the load. And what I mean by that, we're going to enter all the information from the transactional contract from that shipper we talked about a moment ago. That's going to be the shipper load confirmation. It's going to have all the details for the load. We're going to enter that into the TMS. 
origin, destination, any special instructions, any accessorial pay. The rate the customer is paying us, the rate we're paying the truck. We're going to get that, that all entered into the TMS as a freight broker, freight broker software, and we're going to push a button on the keyboard, and it will automatically generate a load confirmation for the carrier. It's going to have all the details for the load, pretty much just like what the customer sent us, except on the load confirmation we've created through the TMS for the carrier, we are instructing the truck to send their invoice to us. And also what's going to be on that load confirmation to the carrier is what we have agreed to pay the truck. Okay. In other words, it's our contract to the truck, the continuing contract. See what I mean? Yeah, the load confirmation you send to the carrier, it becomes part of that original continuing contract that... Uh, we did with the trucking company when we first set up the trucking company. All right. Like I say, Kelly, be watching in the next uh, few weeks. There's going to be a video come out. We're going to have it on YouTube. And uh, it's going to be focusing on the TMS, you know, freight broker software exclusively. Because there's a lot of TMSs out there. You know, you got TMSs for carriers and shippers and the old nine yards.